But I do want to ask you about the gap between you and Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. It seems to be narrowing. What's your concern about that? And what do you think about that? Are you surprised? We have a very competitive contest going on. I've won a state, he's won a state, now we have 48 states to go, and I'm going to work as hard as I can to earn every possible vote. I'm going to spend a lot of time, uh, as is my family, uh, working hard in South Carolina ahead of the primary on February 27th. We just are going to do everything we can to uh, you know, do uh, very well here. Have you had to change your message at all as a result of the narrowing gap? You know, I. I have the same message, but I think I'm now um, able to draw the contrast between myself and Senator Sanders, uh, as I did in the debate last night. There are differences between us. I like to keep it on the issues because I think that's what voters want to know. Uh, we have a difference on health care. I want to build on the Affordable Care Act. I think it's one of President Obama's greatest accomplishments. And I think we can get costs down, get prescription drug costs down, reach 100% coverage. He wants to start all over again. I don't think that would be uh, a very uh, wise move. And so I'm going to keep uh, you know, emphasizing that contrast when it comes to uh, explaining what everything we're proposing costs. I think, uh, as we saw in the debate last night, he was asked to explain. And you've got to tell people. You've got to level with people. What is this going to cost? What's it going to do to your taxes? And I think my plans are going to produce better results in a more uh, cost-effective way for the most Americans. When you came to South Carolina decades ago, one of the issues of concern, race relations. And once again, race relations, still a major concern right. here in South Carolina. What are your strategies and ideas for dealing with race relations and improving them? Well, I don't think there's any doubt we have uh, to deal with systemic racism, uh, the kind of discrimination that holds back African Americans in employment, housing, education, uh, the criminal justice system, and so much else. And I think surfacing those, talking about them, beginning to lay out uh, plans about how we can uh, go after the bigotry and the remnants of discrimination is really important. Uh, so I'm going to build on what President Obama has done, and I'm going to uh, do as much as I can to try to not only uh, go after and root out uh, the uh, uh, systemic racism, but provide more opportunity. That's why I'm here uh, in South Carolina today to announce uh, a program that I think would help improve economic development, housing, infrastructure, education uh, here so that we could lift people up. So while we try to go after and stamp out uh, discrimination and racism, we also have to give people an opportunity to make the most out of their own lives. And speaking of that, we are standing in this room where we see paint coming off the walls, the auditorium is in disrepair. You're talking about debt-free education. Right. We are right across the street from a school, Voorhees College, that struggles. Uh, what are your thoughts for making education more affordable for children in South Carolina and improving their opportunities? Well, you're right. We're in a school that is in desperate need of repair, refurbishment. Uh, the Supreme Court of South Carolina has ordered the legislature uh, to come up with a solution that would include additional funding for uh, schools, particularly rural schools, particularly in this corridor uh, flanking I-95. Uh, it's been called uh, the corridor of shame. I'd like to see it turned into the corridor of opportunity. And I think that can be done. Uh, I want to be a partner as president to work with uh, both state and local officials to try to bring about these changes. No child in America should be you know, going to substandard schools, just like no child should be drinking water poisoned by lead the way they are in Flint. Uh, I care deeply about that. I started my career at the Children's Defense Fund, so what happens to kids remains at the core of what I think uh, we have to do to you know, achieve progress in our society. Let's talk about your relationship and relating to children. Do you feel like that's been a struggle for you, Mrs. Clinton, connecting with the younger demographic? Bernie Sanders seems to have made some strides in that area. Has that been a difficult area for you? Look, I think it's great that young people are getting involved in this campaign. I have a lot of young people supporting me. I'm very proud of them. He obviously has a lot of young people uh, supporting him. I think it's exciting that uh, both of us are uh, doing uh, a lot to bring more people into the process uh, as volunteers, as voters, as donors. Uh, I've told young people who don't support me that uh, I'm glad they're in the process. And even if they don't, I will support them, because I want to be a president 
that breaks down the barriers that stand in the way of young people, you know, having the kinds of lives and jobs that they deserve to have in our country.